Dear brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God sends his word to heal individuals and families. I pray that God's healing power will touch you right now, right where you are. May your life be transformed during this session. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic is energized by hope, energized by by hope. The world we live in has changed significantly. So many uncertainties. Many individuals are asking questions. What does the future hold? Will life ever be the same again? We need hope to survive. To enter into our glorious future, we need to be energized by hope. The dictionary defines hope as a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. The dictionary also states that words that are similar to hope are aspiration, desire, dream, longing, yearning, optimism. Hope gives energy, passion, vitality, and enthusiasm. The opposite of hope is hopelessness, pessimism, despair, discouragement, negativity, despondency. Hopelessness can result when someone is going through difficult times or unpleasant experiences. Hopeless individuals may lose interest in important activities, events, or even important people in their lives. Numerous studies indicate that hopelessness is closely linked to poor mental, emotional, and physical health. A lack of hope can manifest as anxiety, as depression, and other mental health illnesses. In extreme cases, loss of hope can even lead to suicide. Hopelessness is a feeling that things will not and cannot change and creates a sense that there is no solution to a particular problem. As Christians, this can be very disastrous because expectation is the mother of manifestation. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 18, for surely there is an end and your hope will not be cut off. Hope is important physically, it's important spiritually. It affects the way we think, the way we feel, the way we behave. Hope energizes us. It reduces the feeling of helplessness. It increases happiness, it reduces stress, and it improves our overall quality of life. I'll give some examples. When facing a crisis, a person without hope would have thoughts such as, I cannot cope. This is never going to end. On the other hand, a person with hope will think, this is just a setback, I can do this, things will change. A person without hope may be frightened and worried, but a person with hope may be anxious, because that's a normal human reaction, but will be determined to move through, to pull through that anxiety. A person without hope may withdraw from others, stay in bed, and some may even take to substance abuse, but a person with hope will seek for help and support from others. Hope, energized by hope. Hope gives you a reason to get out of bed every day. As I said, it improves mental well-being, reduces sadness, anxiety. It boosts the immune system and it encourages you, encourages me to take positive action. It energizes us to use the opportunities that are available to us. What else does the Bible say about hope? God is the God of hope. We're filled with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. My prayer for you today is that you will be filled with the Holy Spirit and hope will return to you in its fullness in Jesus name. Being filled with the Holy Spirit is not a one-off thing. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. But do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Another version says, keep on being filled with the Holy Spirit. In today's world, the news channels bring distressing news a lot of times. People are turning to alcohol, substances and other non-profitable ways to stay on top. One of these ways is actually just browsing through social media for hours on end and not really doing any profitable thing. But the Holy Spirit is sufficient. 
Stay connected. Pray in the Holy Ghost as often as you can. Energized by hope. We have God's full assurance of a good future. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Therefore, let's put our hope in God. Let's not become tired. Let's not be anxious because of what we see around us. Wars, rumors of wars, inflation, illness, disease. Let not your hearts be troubled. Hope in the Lord. Psalm 33 verse 20 to 22. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Our hope is in you alone. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. The Bible takes it further. It says we should remain hopeful even when the going is tough. Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. We glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, experience, and experience, hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given to us. The Amplified Bible says of verse 5, such hope in God's promises never disappoints us because God's love has been abundantly poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who is given to us. Hope in God's promises never disappoints us. As we go through distress, as we go through pressure, let's remember that God's promises never disappoint us. This is our hope. This is our strength. We need to keep hope alive. In the midst of life's challenges, God is doing a great work in us. We're able to withstand the pressure because we know God's hand is on the thermostat. He's regulating the temperature. He will not allow you to be tested beyond your limits. You're able to withstand the pressure. I'm able to withstand the pressure because I know that the best is yet to come. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. But the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines even brighter unto the perfect day. The Message Bible puts it this way. The ways of right living people glow with light. The longer they live, the brighter they shine. That is so lovely. Your future will get progressively brighter and better if you stay with the Lord, if you stick with the Lord. We must enforce Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18 in our lives. This is God's plan for us, but we have an adversary who is constantly trying to make God's word of non-effect, trying to make God's word null and void. We must enforce it through prayer, through expectation, and through hope. May the Lord grant us the grace to stand on his word and enforce it in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. May God grant us the grace to do his word in Romans chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Based on the unfailing word of God, I can give you these assurances. The best is yet to come. Regardless of where you are now or whatever disappointments or setbacks you've faced in the past, the best is yet to come. This is the word of the Lord. Your future will get progressively brighter if you stick with the Lord. But what if age is not on my side, I hear you ask. Age cannot invalidate God's word. But what about my family circumstances? What about my career circumstances, my business circumstances? I have good news for you. God is not limited by your circumstances. What is impossible with man is possible with God. The best is yet to come. And this song fills me with hope. It's titled, Your Latter Will Be Greater. Part of it says, your latter will be greater than your past. And you will be blessed more than you could ask. Despite all that has been done, the best is yet to come. That line jumps out at me. And you will be blessed more than you could ask. This is in line with God's word in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Now to him 
who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. The best is yet to come. So today I urge you, keep hoping, keep trusting, keep believing, keep hoping, because hope maketh not ashamed. Your hope in God's promises will not be disappointed. Your expectation will not be cut off, energized by hope. Hope is important because faith and hope interact closely. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Without faith, we know that it's impossible to please God because God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. But when we're hopeless, it drains our energy and it affects our diligent seeking of God. So how do we keep hope alive? Number one, trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. How do we keep hope alive? Number two, believe God's word. Be expectant. Despite setbacks and disappointments, remember the best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Number three, start to do what you can with what you have. Don't delay, move forward. Number four, prepare for the future that you hope to see. Your expectation will not be cut off. Expectation, remember, I said, is the mother of manifestation. Number five, stop comparing yourself with others. Trust that you have a unique destiny. Number six, avoid regrets. Let your trips down memory lane be profitable and not full of regrets and anguish. Almighty God, the possessor of heaven and earth, the one with surplus supplies, the one who owns a cattle on a thousand hills is saying that your future is glorious. Hope in him. There are other actions that we can take to inspire hope. We can go for counseling. Healthy eating can also lift our mood because we know that junk food causes sugar fluctuations and that can make individuals feel despondent. Exercise, interestingly, can actually fill a person with hope. Aim for 30 minutes five times a week. Staying connected with others, that's a big one. Hope is built when we stay connected because we're naturally human beings who love to connect one with the other. Another good thing that you can do to increase your levels of hope is to help somebody who is in need. Another thing, lastly, is to get a new skill. Keep your mind active and instill hope for the future. Energized by hope, the most important hope we can have is hope of eternity, to be sure that after life here on earth, we will enjoy life with God the Father in heaven. If you would love that, please pray this prayer with me. The prayer is visible on the screen. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior, and as my Lord. If you said that prayer, congratulations, you have joined or rejoined the family of God. Or maybe you have just reaffirmed that you belong to God. If you just joined God's family, you can continue your Christian journey by joining a Bible-believing church. Please send a text message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, the number is plus 234-708-225-6051. We would like to help you navigate the next steps. I would like all of us to take these prayer points together. The prayer points are visible on your screen. Prayer point number one, Lord, let hope and passion fill my heart. Dispel every hopelessness, fear, and negativity. Dispel every hopelessness, fear, and negativity. Prayer point number two. Oh Lord, remove from my life anything 
that is keeping me from my best. O oh Lord, remove from my life anything and everything that is keeping me from my best. Prayer point number three. O oh Lord, from today onwards, let my future be brighter. Let my future be better. O oh Lord, from today onwards, let my future be brighter and better. Prayer point number four are your personal prayer requests. I would like to agree with you concerning these requests. Please lift up your prayer points to the God of hope who desires to give you his best. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I pray for all those listening to me right now that your prayers will become testimonies in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for praying along with me. May hope fill your heart like never before. May Almighty God open up new opportunities and new territories for you. You will break forth on the right hand and you will break forth on the left. May you reach new levels of attainment and enjoy a glorious future. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it today. Bless someone. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your families. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom.